Springfield Clinic. We have Dr. Koshar here from the Springfield Clinic. Good morning, Doc. How you doing? Good morning. How yes. are you? We're here to talk about colonoscopies, right? And just the importance of the, in having them. Talk about your specialty, first of all, and um, you know why it's so important to have them. Sure. Um, so I'm a gastroenterologist, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the most important things we do is screening colonoscopy. One of the things that makes the most, uh, the biggest public health impact. Mm. Um, you know, colon cancer is uh, one of the most common and lethal uh, cancers. Uh, there's about 50,000 deaths a year, 150,000 cases per year. And uh, by doing a screening colonoscopy, you can essentially prevent colon cancer. It's also one of the most preventable cancers out there. Mm, yeah, talk to us. I mean, what is the, the process of going? I mean, is it as scary as people make it out to be? You know, there's always some uh, uh, concern that patients have when you talk to them about a colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you, it's not as scary as it may sound or seem. Mm. Uh, the procedure is completely painless. It's just like you're taking a nap. There is no pain or discomfort associated with uh, the procedure, either before, during, or after. Mm. Uh, the hardest part, I tell people, is uh, preparing for it, you know. So uh, doing a bowel clean out the day before is actually the toughest part. Uh, it involves that you have to be on clear liquids all day and then you have to drink a liquid that essentially cleans you out. Yeah. So that is the tough part. Um, the procedure itself in this day and age is uh, completely painless. Uh, there's really no discomfort. Mm -hmm. uh, you do need somebody to drive you back afterwards because you're a little bit sleepy afterwards. Yeah. When should you, um, you know, do this? I mean, what are some of the sure signs that you should probably get checked and yeah. maybe be in the running for a colonoscopy? Sure. So. Um, Everybody needs a colonoscopy once they're age 50 uh, because everybody is at risk. Um, and then after that, you would need one every three to 10 years, depending on whether you were found to have any precancerous polyps or not. Some people would need to start earlier if they've uh, had a family history of colon cancer or if they've had polyps before. Certainly if you've had symptoms uh, like blood in stool or unintentional weight loss, uh, recent change in bowel habits that's unexplained, then you would go in sooner. Okay. What is the recovery process like? I mean, is it quick? Yeah, the recovery is pretty quick. Um, you know, we do uh, procedures at our surgery center at Springfield Clinic uh, five days a week, and uh, uh, recovery typically will take about 30 minutes or so. Uh, and like I said, it's like uh, waking up from a nap. Mm. Uh, there's really no discomfort. You're just a little bit groggy. Uh, but it's in and out. You come in, uh, you have to check in about an hour to hour and a half before the procedure. And uh, once it's done, uh, the procedure takes about 30 to 40 minutes on average, recovery about another 30 minutes. Okay. And yeah. the big key is, you know, you can schedule it two weeks prior and, you know, be in and out. Absolutely. So uh, typically your family doctor will refer you for a colonoscopy when you're due. And uh, we have an office visit with us, then we schedule it. But now we have uh, a recent uh, initiative, which is an open access program where we're trying to avoid that extra visit for the patients. Okay. And so a lot of patients could be scheduled directly. Their primary doctor or family doctor sends us a message. Uh, we contact the patient. And uh, we have very experienced and skilled staff who kind of walk them through the scheduling process. And they can come directly for the procedure and avoid that extra visit. Of course, they meet us uh, on the day of the procedure, and we talk to them before and after. Okay. So we're trying to make access easier. Um, uh, data suggests there's only about 60% of people who actually need a colonoscopy that have, that have gone ahead and done it. Okay. So we want that number to go up. Perfect. Doctor, thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it.